Hi, I'm Amy Kelly, and this is a 15-minute Bring Your Own Baby BYOB sequence. Um, I would suggest having something comfy for your baby to rest on or to be on um, if they aren't needing you for comfort or feeding, um, and then just maybe a little bit of support underneath your seat. Um, so we'll get started. Let's start by grounding our bodies. If you're holding your little one, I love just always starting with the breath because no matter where you are, what you're doing, you can always breathe. You don't need any props. And it's such, such a great regulator for your nervous system. So bringing the breath all the way down to your belly and feeling the lungs inflate. And with your exhale, letting go of your morning, your day, your afternoon, your evening. Just seeing if you can really allow yourself to be in this moment. Right here, right now, connecting with your own body and your baby. As you're connecting with your breath, notice your forehead relaxing, your jaw becomes soft and shoulders just slide down away from your ears. And we'll welcome in some movement through the hips and some sound. Babies love to hear your voice. They love singing. They learn so much through the different sensations. So we're just gonna move in a clockwise direction three times and then we'll switch directions. And the sound is kind of a combo between a hum and an om. Hum. Reverse the circles. Hum. Hum. One more. Hum. And just let those circles slow down the vibration of the sound settle onto your skin and take a generous breath in and let it go okay if your baby's all right with you setting them down if they're in your lap you can just set them down on their back um, feet towards you head away from you and we're just gonna start with some parent stretches, reaching your arms up high. Exhale, hands through your heart space. Two more like that. Breathe in, stretch up. And draw it back through center. One more time. Okay, now let's bring that right hand on or close to baby just so that they know you're here and then reach that opposite arm up and over and just feel that space across your chest. Welcoming in some rotation through your spine. Good, bring that arm back up and we'll switch sides. One hand on or near babe and then other hand behind you, breathe in and breathe out. Good, bring that hand back through center and now we'll just go one breath to one movement. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
One more each side. Good, now take those arms all the way up and out. Hands through center. Okay, we're gonna move on to our hands and our knees. You can scooch any props just to the side and I'm just gonna slide my baby just right above my face so they can see me and I can kind of distract them with some of my movements so I can get a little me time. Let's start by gently moving through the torso, through the spine, tilting the tail up, tucking the tail under. And see if you can isolate this movement more so to the lower spine, that sacral tailbone area. It's a space that can get congested during this time of rocking, sitting, feeding holding, so just really imagining that space opening up. And then we'll flip our right palm up. Let's just start by dragging the hand back, reaching the fingers up, and then you can wiggle them above babe if they're old enough to kind of see that movement. Some of them may giggle. If you took any prenatal classes with us, you might have done this in those classes. Just opening up the shoulder. Okay, now let's reach that right arm high, curl your thumb in, wrap the fingers around, rotating through the hand. And then reach those fingers high, thread your needle, guide your right arm through, lower your forehead down to the floor and see just how it feels. Maybe you crawl your fingertips towards baby. Maybe you kind of walk them over to the right edge of your mat. Replant your left palm, reach that right arm up high. Slowly back through center, we'll switch sides. Left hand reaches high and bring it back down. Flip that palm up, drag that hand back, wiggling the fingers for baby. Make sure you're breathing, welcoming in that breath. Last one, let's pause when we reach the fingertips towards the ceiling, wiggle the fingers and then wrap fingers around the thumb, find some rotation through the wrist joint. And then when you're ready, release that grip, thread the needle. And explore with that opposite hand what feels right in your body today, in this moment. Replant your right palm, reach that left arm high, and slowly come back through center. Let's take our first downward dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips. Generous bend in the knees. Pedal out your legs. And 
And then we'll crawl our hands and feet towards each other, coming into that fold. And rise all the way up. Palms to your heart. And then we'll do a couple standing sun salutes. So you can just walk a little bit closer to your little one towards the top of the mat. Again, they'll like to see those movements of your arms as you flow. Reach the arms up high, forward fold, halfway lift, and fold forward. Rise all the way up to stand, just taking your time here, palms to your heart. Good, arms sweep up high. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, forward fold. Reach up, mountain pose, palms to your heart. One more, inhale. Exhale, bow down. Halfway lift, forward fold. Good, rise all the way up. Palms to your heart. Good, breathe in, sweep arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. And then we'll step back into that high plank and you can drop down to your knees for a tabletop. And let's have a seat on our blanket or pillow, bolster, whatever you got here. And we'll do a couple leg stretches, opening up the lower body. So um, my baby is a little cranky, so I'm just gonna grab them in my arms and I'll show you how you can incorporate them into these movements. Seated wide-legged folds, so stretch the legs as wide as feels comfortable. From here, you can invite in a stretch forward. If baby is all right sitting up with your support, you can kind of sit them up in the same position and then hold on to them as you Welcome in that stretch through your inner thighs. And then we're gonna lift up and lift baby up, 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 up. So big, some of the older babies really like that engagement. You can bend one knee, <clears throat> bring it in for a one seated single leg fold. And then I'm just gonna kind of nestle my little one kind of into that knee crease. Um, you could also hold them with that opposite arm. Um, and then I'm gonna take a side body stretch. And then let's take another twist. So important to find a variety of movement in the spine throughout the day. So I'm still able to kind of hold on to my little one while welcoming in these movements. Good, back through center. And we'll switch legs. And now I'm just gonna set my baby in between kind of that knee crease and calf and thigh area. Keep one hand on them, reach up and over for that side body stretch. Good, coming back through center. Crossing your legs, giving your babe a little nuzzle and thank them for being with you on this journey today.